Hi, welcome to day four of my 26 part series, Public Speaking A to Z. And today C is for confidence. Pan-Africanist leader Marcus Mosiah Garvey once said, if you have no confidence, you're twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you've won even before you've started. And it's so true for public speaking. You need confidence. It's the essential ingredient in taking your speech to the next level. But I'm sure you're asking, how do I develop this elusive thing called confidence? I'll show you three ways. And remember the acronym SAT. So S stands for skill. And in public speaking, there are skills that you need to master. Things like breath control, things like eliminating filler words. An example of a filler word is M or you know, or uh, if you know what I mean, or well, we don't know what you mean. So take all those things out. You can learn to do that either offline with a tutor or online by going to YouTube and other free resources on the internet. Work on your skills, work on your capacities, your aptitudes, and you will become a better public speaker because you'll not be worrying about the technical things. Now, A stands for attitude. Your attitude basically is how you see yourself, how you see your audience and your speech. If you think you are a poor public speaker, it will be a self-fulfilling prophecy. You want to change your attitude by repeating affirmations. An example of uh, some affirmations, I'm an engaging speaker. This audience is receptive to my message. I'm going to do well. I deliver a message that is useful to the world. And repeat these things before you get on the stage and it will show in your speaking. So that's uh, A for attitude or affirmations. And T is for talking. You want to talk about things that you know. One sure way to fail at public speaking is to pretend that you're an expert in a subject of which you know nothing. There's a reason why the very first essay we write in class one is myself, because everybody knows a lot about themselves and it's easy to write an essay about yourself. So speak about things you know. Years back, I used to have a public speaking class and it was filled with people who hadn't spoken before. And I challenged them that they would be able to stand in front of the audience, which is their classmates, and speak for five minutes. They didn't believe it. And I got two great examples I can show. One, a guy who was a bass guitarist. He had been playing bass for the past 10 years. And I challenged him to get on the stage and speak to us about his, uh, his, his experience. He was just fantastic. There was another lady who looked after her father till he passed away. And she told us a, such a touching story, and we all were in tears, even me, the tutor. So the trick is to speak about things you know, to deliver the confidence that you need to fuel your public speaking. So remember, skills, attitudes, and talking about what you know. And that brings us to the end of today's video. To, the next will be on D for desire. Catch you later.